Hello and welcome to Pask PLC. This is part 2 of my tutorial how to connect Raspberry Pi as an EtherCAD master with Vago EtherCAD field bus coupler. At the beginning I want to say that the Raspberry Pi is connected with my router via Wi-Fi connection. The Ethernet port is, is used as a, a network interface card for the EtherCAD connection. So let's start it, let's build a new project. Standard project Peter Cut K3 We will also make a simple simple visualization to control the eight digital outputs of Peter Cut field bus coupler. We'll have to wait a little bit time. My computer is not so fast. Okay, at the beginning I have to update my device because the GPIOs are not correct one. I'm using Raspberry Pi 3, so I have to use this one. Update device. Let's find our device in the network. Scan network. Choose the Raspberry Pi. Click OK. OK, we have a connection with Raspberry. So let's start. At the beginning we have to add a device, which is a EtherCAD master. Add device. Now we have to click on the add, uh, EtherCAD master, add Vago EtherCAD field bus coupler, add device, and let's close it. At this moment we will use a scan function, scan for devices. We will detect all the devices that are connected with EtherCAD field bus coupler. We can do this uh, manually, but Automatically, it is uh, much, much, much faster. Copy to project. And then we are seeing that I have uh, eight digital inputs, eight digital outputs, and one special card, which is a card for a serial connection. Very important thing at the right now it is uh, to choose the correct network interface card for the EtherCAD connection. Let's click Browse. Choose the Ethernet 0. Let's click OK. Then we have to assign the variables to our eight digital outputs. So we have to click EtherCAD I.O. mapping. Go to Output Channel. And then let's declare our variables. Digital Output 1, Digital Output two digital three DO four DO five DO six seven digital output eight. Okay. We will also need a uh, additional variables for our visualization. So. We click at the application, add object, then we have to add global variable list. Here we have it. Okay, let's leave it like this. Let's declare variables for our visualization. X. output one as a boom
Okay, now we have prepared the variables for our visualization. Let's make some a little project. Okay, let's add a function block diagram. New POU on off. It will be function block diagram. We will use a blink function to blink the first digital output. Okay. Probably we don't have a library, blink library, so I have to add a library util. start again let's blink okay okay enable true time delay as the one second t hash one second and then to a variable we can choose the digital output one and that's it the, the, the output stage of digital output card will be turned on and turned off let's make a simple visualization to control the outputs add an object and a visualization main visual and Okay, we are ready. So, common controls. Let's choose a button. Okay, and also let's choose a control. Lamp switch, lamp one. Okay. We will change the color of the lamp to green. The name of the var of the button X will be X D zero one. And let's tap. Uh, uh, let's toggle a variable, which is called global variable list. XD01 For the lamp we will use a global variable list XD output one dummy Let's copy This is a very simple way to create a visualization. It 
will take a few seconds. Be patient. I'm al almost ready. Do the same. Do the same for the for the lamps. So we are done with our visualization. Let's go back to our function plot diagram. <coughs> D01, let's modify this and let's assign. Let's add another network, network below, will be very easy network and connection. I think we are ready. Let's compile it. build it again D01 
zero errors and zero warnings, so let's connect with our Raspberry Pi to check if the communication is working. Okay, so let's run it. You are seeing here that the EtherCAT connection is working. So let's take a look at the variables. We have a false. Let's check it on the main visualization. If I click XT01, we will see a blinking. Let's check again our output. IO mapping is blinking. That's it. Thank you for watching.